Hello everyone, it is Matt here from Scoop in Response and today we're going to be going over a deck tech for a commander that came out with the recent jump start. It is Kibo uh, Uktabi Prince. It's a three mana gruel commander, legendary creature, monkey noble. It has each player creates a colorless artifact token named Banana with tap to sacrifice artifact, add a red or green and you gain two life and it's a tap effect. It's a 2-2, and it also has whenever an artifact an opponent controls is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you put a 1-1 counter on each creature control that's an ape or a monkey. So, very cool, uh, I guess, bit of niche, stompy commander. We're going to be looking at a number of different ways that we can sort of have fun with this. It's a bit of a casual, uh, more casual build for this. Um, just going to be, you know, playing a whole bunch of apes and monkeys, and we're going to be doing some cool stuff with artifacts uh, and the like. So, we'll go through that now. First up, we've got our creatures. So we've got quite a number of creatures with this list. I think it's 36 altogether. Um, it's basically going to be, you know, the meat and potatoes off the deck. We've got both of our spirit guides. Uh, you know, they're basically just fast mana, but also serve to be, uh, you know, really, uh, I guess, useful in that one of them in particular is an ape spirit. We've got Gorilla Shaman, destroy target non-creature artifact with mana value X. So you can just pay one to shoot everything you want um, that is zero, and then you know more mana as it increases. So you can blow up all of your opponent's uh, you know bananas as you go through. We've got Hooting Mandrels, uh, Curd Ape. Ragavan and Tree Monkey. So obviously Ragavan is just a great card in general, but happens to be a monkey as well. So very cool. Tree Monkey can block creatures with flying. So I'm guessing that's been eroded to say reach. We've got Universal Automaton, it's a changeling, so yeah, really cool, uh, you know, with, with our commander in that, uh, yeah, we get to put uh, all of the counters on, on all these uh, little one drops, so very cool. Uh, moving forward, we've got uh, Wily Banda, it's a cat monkey, uh, gains indestructible with the activated ability. Dockside Extortionist, Guardian Glade Walker, so another changeling. We've got Gaia Sage, uh, so as it gets bigger, it's going to tap for more mana, very cool. Uh, we've got Incubation Druid, a similar kind of effect. Mask Vandal, um, so really cool card this one. Um, yeah, exile a creature card from your graveyard and destroy an artifact or an enchantment, so very cool. Metallic Mimic, you get to choose Ape or Monkey. It's also an artifact uh, as well, so very cool. Uh, Scrounging Banda, uh, you put two plus one plus one counters uh, on it, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you can move those counters uh, onto another target creature. Um, so you can do that every turn as it starts growing and growing with all of the artifacts that go into the, the bin. And uh, yeah, you have a Maya Steel Crusher, another cool card. Um, you know, it's got Enlist, so when it attacks, you can tap a non-attacking creature that is not tapped, and it doesn't have Summoning Sickness. Zodiac Monkey, uh, it's got Forest Walk, Bloodline Pretender. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield uh, of that type, you put a counter on the Bloodline Pretender. Evolution Sage, so land ETBs, you proliferate, very cool. Kadama of the West Tree, modified creatures have Trample. Whenever a modified creature deals combat damage to a player, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped, and then shuffle. So because everything is going to be modified in this deck, we're going to be able to get so many lands out for this. Uh, very, very cool. Manglehorn, Realm Walker. Uh, Manglehorn's, you know, just to destroy artifacts and make them enter tapped so you can actually kill them, um, you know, kill those uh, artifacts that you create uh, and before they untap. So very cool. Realm Walker lets you, uh, Realm Walker, sorry, lets you play cards off the top. Then we've got um, Simeon Simulacrum, Tauren, uh, Mola, you know, Changelings, and, uh, and, and, and I guess this Unearth ability is kind of interesting. So at ETBs, you put two counters on a creature. And then you can, you know, unearth and do the same thing again. We've got another artifact destroyer with the Uktabi Orangutan, um, Beast Whisperer, cast a spell, draw a card, creature spell rather. And then we've got um, Shishiro, the Shattered Blade. Whenever an, uh, whenever an aura or an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 Red Spirit creature token with Menace. And at the beginning of your end step, put a plus one counter on each modified creature you control. So if you've got things with counters on them, you put more counters on them. Got Gorilla Chieftain, um, just a, another gorilla. Uh, Curd Chieftain, it's like a big Curd Ape. Uh, Summit Apes, it's got uh, Mountain Walk effectively, um, except it's like Mountain Walk Menace, I guess. Um, Team of Sabretooth, uh, it's a cat, but it's gonna bounce our Dockside and any of our uh, apes that we want to 
you know, play over and over again. So very cool. Silverback Elder, a very cool card coming out of Dominaria. Whenever you cast a creature spell, choose one. Destroy Artifact or Enchantment. Look at the top five cards or gain four life. Uh, and you can put a land card uh, onto the battlefield tap. So very cool. Uh, the Aki Battle Squad um, modified creatures uh, let you untap uh, all creatures. And then you have a, an additional combat phase. So it does it once. Cogla, uh, just a really strong ape. And then, of course, Vorinclex, which is uh, the biggest boy for our plus one counters. Moving on to our non creatures, uh, we've got Mana Crypt, Shadow Spear, Soul Ring, Ozolith, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Impulse. Um, you know, these are all pretty standard cards. You should really know what most of them do. Uh, the Ozolith is just like a really sweet card to um, store all those plus one counters. So, really cool. Uh, it's kind of like a hardened scales type card. We've got uh, Birthing Bows. Um, you pay for and tap to create a shapeshifter with changeling so you can you know trigger your apes with that sort of truth and justice it proliferates maskwood nexus same as the birthing bows just similar effect ember cleave we're going to be making lots of dudes so this is going to be really sweet giving something um trample and double strike and then the great henge we're going to be you know putting a lot of uh creatures into play and this will get discounted quite heavily uh and then you can have an additional counter go on each of those uh creatures as you play them so really powerful um artifacts with this deck we've got hardened scales um, we are in red green, so we're limited on, uh, you know, really like premium removal in some ways. So Kenrith transformation becomes an all-star survival of the fittest lets us, you know, sculpt our, um, situation with our hand. So we can basically choose the best creatures that we want to bring in rhythm of the wild, um, creature spells can't be counted. Uh, and you know, everything either gets haste or plus one, uh, we've got guardian project, which is a beast whisperer. And Parallel Lives and Doubling Season, um, you know, you're putting twice as many tokens onto the battlefield and twice as many uh, counters for Doubling Season as well. Planeswalkers, so we've got Domri, uh, creatures you control get plus one plus oh. You can uh, uptick it to add mana and can't counter creatures. And then you can have it fight dudes as well. This can boo. Just a really sweet rule planeswalker, so really sweet with that. And we've got Vivian Monster's Advocate. So, you know, you cast a creature spell that costs three mana or more, and then you go and get your Dockside uh, out of your deck, and uh, that's pretty insane. And then we've got uh, Garuk Primal Hunter, so ticks up to make dudes, uh, and ticks down to draw cards, and a lot of cards. And then if you ultimate it, you can create a 6-6 six, six green worm for each land you control, um, so very cool uh, for that. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that the Vivian also gives your stuff flash, your creatures flash, so really awesome with that. For sorceries next up, we have Green Sun Zenith, Finale of Devastation, both just really good uh, tutors for creatures, and we have Nature's Law and Three Viv Visits. These are probably the best sort of low-cost uh, land ramp spells, so, you know, we're going to get some lands out of our deck and go from there, basically. Um, instance, we've got Ancient Grudge, Heroic Intervention, Punishing Fire, Beast Within, Force of Vigor, and Return of the Wild Speaker. So this is all removal and a little bit of card draw. So that's basically it. Punishing Fire, we've also got Grove of the Burn Willows, so we've got that combo as well. And also this uh, works with the um, monkey uh, tokens, so the, the banana tokens rather. So every time your opponent cracks a banana token, you can get this back from your graveyard. So very cool. Lastly, we have our uh, our lands. So this is a very, I guess, straightforward mana base for the most part. Um, we've got all of our fetches. Uh, we've got quite a lot of fetchable uh, lands. Um, you could absolutely chuck a, uh, a Valakut or something like that in this deck. Um, Command Tower, we've got some forests. Grove of the Burn Willows, which combos with the Punishing Fire. We've got Khan's Bastion, which is a proliferate effect. We've got Keswick Wolf Run, which is a, a trample and pump effect. Lanawar Reborn gives you counters. Nesting Grounds, you move counters from one permanent to another. Very, very strong card. Uh, Orin Reef, you put a counter on each green creature that's entered the battlefield this turn. Shelter Thicket, Stomping Ground Taker, they're all just for the um, access to colors. Rootbound Craig, same thing. Crag, sorry. Rootbound Craig. <laughs> uh, Urza's Saga, uh, it's literally just to get a few of the artifacts out of the deck. You know, Crypt, Shadow Spear, Soul Ring, the Ozolith. Also, it's probably going to be the one that you go for most of the time. Really, really strong card, really sort of powerful effect, and being able to tutor for it from a land is just really strong. 
So that's pretty much the deck. Um, it's, you know, really straightforward, as, as I mentioned. Uh, it's really, I guess it's it's one of those commanders that, um, you know, given the time that it sort of released, you know, we, we had a whole bunch of spoilers sort of come out around this time. There's been a lot of sets lately. It's probably going to get sort of overlooked for the most part, but I just think this is a really fun commander that you could build and put together that's going to be able to compete at a variety of different tables, given the, you know, the abundance of, uh, I guess, artifact and uh, enchantment removal that we've got access to, and just being able to have a solid game plan to, to sort of go in and attack with all of our dudes and yeah effectively it's going to be I guess a great deck that you could build and put together to give to someone who um, you know maybe isn't too experienced in uh, in EDH and commander so you know this is a great like I, I guess new per new player friendly deck to you can sort of lend out to, to your friend if you want to get let them have a go at commander and uh, and this is going to be able to form quite well uh, as and it's also going to introduce them to like quite a number of mechanics in a way that is not going to be too sort of overwhelming so yeah thank you for checking out the deck and if you liked what you see and you want to see more things don't forget to eat your vegetables and subscribe to the channel um, that's all for now and i'll see you next time bye for now